obligation and you'll get a quick decision. Make the most of your life. Call First Plus on 0800 052 6000. Pete called it a supernatural Charlie's Angels. Welcome to our world. Seriously sexy, said the mail on Sunday. Wow. A spellbinding new show. Charmed has the magic touch. TV and satellite week. That is so totally cool. Gary Bushell called it Beverly Hills 666. It's not that bad. And TV Review said it was the hottest show of the year. That's Charmed. Tonight at 8 on Living. Find out what's happening. No, apparently Diana's still on the stand. I've just been told I can go home. Well, they're adjourning for the day once they finish with her. This isn't going to be some long, drawn-out battle. It won't. Peter will be found innocent and that will be the end of it. Yes, well, we don't know that for sure, do we? Better start making tracks. Do you want a lift? Um, no, I'll wait until the court finishes and get a lift home with Peter and Mrs. Harris. Fine. Bye. Bye. Thank you for being here, and thank you for being so generous with your time, and most importantly, with your cash. Cheers. Thanks, nice Sarah. Well, now the fun has only just begun because it's time to move on to our celebrity prize auction, and we have got some tremendous prizes up for grabs today. We'll start the ball rolling with, appropriately enough, two signed footballs from Liverpool and Everton football clubs there. And I think uh, they've been donated by local businessman Barry Grant. <laughs> so let's start the bidding off at uh, 50 pounds. Who will give me 50? I'll go on, Sarah. I'll give you 50. Thank well, you. I'm laying it on thick. Right now. 65 pounds. Do I hear 65? Thank you very much. Well, she was supposed to be a married woman. She is. 80 pounds. Who will give me 80 pounds? I'll try turning that to Barry Grant. Thank you. Ninety pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Jealousy, I can smell in here. Go on, Sarah. I'll give you ninety. All right. Yeah. You enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Well, Karen and I are staying around to recover over a drink later if you'd like to join us. Oh, I can't. I thought I'd meet Derek after. It's all right, no big deal. Hello. Hello. Mm. How's it going? Okay, so far. Good. Sarah enjoying herself? Mm, it seems to be. Barry Grant is very taken by her. Well, obviously, a man of taste. How did it go in court? I don't know. I didn't get past the corridor. Diane's the only person they're calling today. I should have been there for her. Well, you have. Yeah, but not today. I mean, she's got no one else. You've done the best you can. I mean, what more can you do? Mm. Hmm? Thank you. Excuse me, if you can take your eyes off the guest star for a minute. What? I was just about to invite you for a drink, if you can spare the time to listen. When? Now, oh, well, when the lunch is over with uh, Patricia and me. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, I've got somewhere to go. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could just have your attention one more time, please, I'd like to make the draw for the £10 note raffle. We've got all the money in here. And remember, there's still a weekend for two in Paris to give away. And the winner is... Karen Clark. <laughs> oh, dear. Very convenient. Look here, I've got to go. I'll see you. Got a winner over there. Congratulations. I thought you were going Christmas shopping. No. Like some scrambled eggs for breakfast. Uh, no, thanks. I just think I'll have a cup of tea. Ah. I'll make it myself in a minute. Is everything all right? 
Oh, all right. How many of the elevens is? I've got chocolate hobnobs and everything in there, but my nan insists on an arrow root. Oh, well, you know what nans are like. You all right? Sort of. Only sort of? Yeah, I've got a bit of bad news for someone. Hmm? How bad? Well, how do you go about evicting the nicest person in the world? I'm sorry, I'm not with you. I'm flatmate. Pope's Eric. I mean, there he is, working all the hours God sends for charity for nothing. And always walking down with a smile on his face. That is, till big bad Terry comes along and wipes it off for him, just in time for Crimbo. Now, you're going to throw him out of your flat? I'm not throwing him out of anywhere. Well, I'm just asking him to leave when I get round to it. How come? Well, I've got a friend coming over to stay and I need the space. Oh, friend, eh? Well, it's just a friend. Best sort. Yeah, I tried telling that to Mother Teresa down there. Right, well, I, uh, better dip into town later. Check with Sadra about Matthew and Emily's presents. I, um, suppose you'll be heading over to Susanna's on Christmas morning? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know. <sighs> Things have been so hectic round here, I haven't had a chance to get in touch with her. She hasn't phoned you? Well, I'd have told you she had. How do I know that? Because nothing, not ex-wives or illness or ongoing battles with stroppy nannies is going to stop me from giving you a wonderful Christmas. Good. So let's forget about Susanna, shall we? Until she rears her ugly head. Mm, she hasn't done that for a while. No, hadn't noticed. Perhaps she's got better things to do with her time. Like what? Perhaps she's at last got a man of her own. No. Why not? Well, she's a busy mother. She have said. Wouldn't bother you, would it? No. no of course not. Excuse me. I'm just going to the shops for a few bits or anything. No, thanks. Good luck. Bye, then. Oof, miracle. Just the two of us for a change. Mmm, wonderful feeling, isn't it? Mm. Right, I'm, um... I'm just nipping upstairs to make a short but very important phone call. I see the Rogers have been treated to a bit of the local Yuletide spirit. Mm. Someone's nicked his wheels. His car's on bricks. <sighs> Little thugs. Someone will probably blame me. Huh. It's just as likely to point the accusing finger in my direction. Oh, this is hopeless. Huh? Can I give you a hand? What I really mean is it's pointless. What is? Well, this lot. Trying to talk up our unhappy home with bits of tinsel and expensive toilet paper. Why? Well, that's a bit of a stupid question, isn't it? No. I'm serious. Oh, why shouldn't we have the right to decorate our home at Christmas? We've done nothing wrong. Well, I know that, but... As far as I'm concerned, I've got as much right to collect my presents from under the tree as anyone else in this close, Diana Corkle included. Let's hope the jury thinks so, too. Thanks a lot. Oh, I'm sorry, son. All I meant was that, well, the way things are at the moment, neither your mother or I are in a chestnuts roasting on an open fire mood. What I meant was that despite my innocence, this might be the last Christmas I spend at home for quite some time, and I just yes, want to... Yes, I know, I know. I just want this blasted trial to be over. <laughs> Can't disturb the judge's holidays, can we? i tell you what, I'll do all this lot later. What do you say? You take me out and you buy your old man a pint, eh? Got to report to the police station in an hour. Well, that gives us an hour. Thanks. But, um... I think, um... I think I'll go for a walk or something. Walk? It's freezing out there. Put the decorations up, eh? Mum will appreciate it. It's a shame this place is closing down, isn't it? Yeah, well, all good things. Mm. How much you want for that? To you, 5p. 5p? I'll give you a quid. Oh, too kind. 
Listen, have you had any more news on the saga of the pregnancy testing kit? Well, Jackie's as good as said it was Katie, but... But you're not sure whether it's any of your business, right? No. Ron says stay out of it, and for once I think he's right. No, but it's Frank Rogers' business, though, isn't it? Yeah, but Jackie says the test was negative anyway. <laughs> See, she's 15, and the next test might be positive. Her father has got a right to know, just as you've got a responsibility to tell her. If Katie's mother was around, it'd be a lot easier. Mm. They just don't like talking to uh, strange men, eh? Well, it's awkward, isn't it? Well, you get on with this girlfriend, all right, don't you? Well, then, yeah. Have a word with her, then. Hiya. Oh, hello, love. Any good bargains left? Yeah, yeah, just uh, dive in and have a nose. Oh, are you? No. Have you got an appointment? No. I've come to see you, actually. Well, you needn't book to see me. Pass you a cup of tea and a nice Irish biscuit. Excuse me, boss. Is it all right about the tea break? Yeah, I'm going to have one myself in a minute. Oh, hello, Jackie. Hello, Katie. Hello, Jackie. 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 Oh, it will be soon. And that miserable smile will get what's coming to him. You just try and relax and enjoy your Christmas. So, what can I do for you? I'm moving out to the Farnham's and I need to find somewhere else to live. They're throwing you out at Christmas? Well, that miserable sound serves. Oh, it's not like that. They've been really good to me. It's just, I can't stay there forever. Still. The thing is, I need to find somewhere else to stay. And I was wondering if... There'll always be a bed for you in our house, love. I know I've really upset you. You love us. I don't think it is what I said. We'd love to have you for Christmas, and you can stay as long as you want, can't you, Trace? Yeah. Look, Diana, I know we've had some bad arguments over this. It's just that I've been worried about our Rod. It's all right, I've got to be the same. I'm sorry if I upset you. No, I'm sorry for not being there at the trial for you. It's OK. You do what you feel is right, haven't you? I suppose so. It's hunkly. No, we had to queue. I wouldn't have bothered. You sound like an old age pensioner. Heavens but I'm the agent for this place. You did all the PR. We shouldn't have to queue. Well, you could always go home and have a nice mug of Horlicks. Yes. I do have to catch a plane early tomorrow morning. Aren't you glad you came now, eh? These dances are fantastic. Yeah, for once you're right, man. Better than sitting here watching James Bond. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's pretty Diana couldn't have been here. She'd have enjoyed all this. I think she just wanted to spend the evening with her dad. She doesn't want to count then. What time's Leanne getting here? I don't know. Hey, she mentions anything about the abortion. No. Is she still having it? Any chance of opening up? We're perishing here. God, is that that bleeding Julia? Yeah. <laughs> no show without punch, eh? Just about Jimmy Corkle's level, eh? A bounce on the door in some dive. See the state of them two gonna up like dogs dinners. Does your father know you're at nightclubs, Jackie Dixon?
Okay, ladies and gents, have your five is ready now. Follow the fiesta inside. Let's take the food in. Here we go. Take for the free drink. Take it for the free drink. There you go. Nice one. Thank you very much. Keep it moving. At last. Pay, three. Pay the girl inside. Thank you very much. Keep moving along now. Uh, sorry, girls. No can do. What? You're not 18. Yeah, but your nails and everything. Yeah, but if it didn't, I'd think you were 18. But I do, and you're not. It's Christmas. Listen, we've got a license to think of here, and we want to still have it by New Year. OK, so go on, get moving. Go on and finish your selection boxes off. <laughs> Cheers. Well, I never thought I'd see him on the right side of the law. How much is it, love? A fiver. A fiver? Oh, God bless us and save us. All right, Tracy, love. How are you doing? Hey, listen, keep the money in your purse and just tell them you know me, OK? Uh, sorry, you're not coming. Oh, stop acting the ghost. Door policy. Desirables only. We've got an image to think of here. You? An image? It's not the British Legion, you know. That's it. You're not coming in. Move along. Go on. You me? I'm serious. She is not coming in. And a very Merry Christmas to you and all. start in the morning. I've got to get organised. Well, don't forget to pack that Barnum charm, will you? Ah, so this is where you sloped off to. Just taking five. What do you think of it so far? It'll do. Coming back for another crack New Year's Eve? What is it with you and New Year's Eve, eh? Nothing. What do you get for Christmas, then? This place. No prezzies. Never bought none, never sent none. Oh, dear. I thought you'd have a string of floozies to keep sweet. Not me. I am disappointed. Why? I don't think you'd have any problem living up to your lady killer image, that's all. We'll have to think again, then, won't you? Oh, well. Yeah, there isn't a baby grant in every town, hey? Can't we talk about something else? Sorry, I was... Yeah, well, don't. Whatever you say. Karen. What? I'm sorry, it's just that, um, I don't want to talk about kids and stuff, all right? <sighs> it was only a joke. Yeah, well, maybe the joke's on me this time. What joke? Well, maybe I have got a kid somewhere, that's all. Only maybe? Yeah, well, does it count if the kid doesn't get to know who I am? I don't know. Neither do I. Come on, let's go and have a bop, eh? Diana, don't. It's just me. What do you want? I've got to talk to you. Just go away, please. I, I can't. Well, get me, Dad. Oh, don't. Well, he's just gone to bed. If he catches your ear, he'll kill you. I told him about it all. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here. To talk about it. I'll get the police. You'll be in even more trouble. I don't want to be in any trouble. I never did. It's too late now. It's not too late. Look. You don't want this any more than I do. Court cases and juries. 
These lawyers have turned into something we both know is wrong. What you did was wrong? What I did. I was your friend. I comforted you. I was there for you. And when you wanted me to, I kissed you. Then you raped me. No. Then I made love to you. No. That's what I thought I was doing. That's what I thought you wanted. And now I could go to prison. I could have my whole life wrecked because of a misunderstanding. I don't want to be locked up in a cell 23 hours a day. I'll be locked up with child molesters, perverts, proper rapists. Oh, just please go. Do you really want to see me locked up? Do you really think I'm a proper rapist? No, I don't know. What you did was wrong. It's not too late to stop it, you know. The whole mess. You just have to tell them you don't want to carry on with it. You, you don't want to be hassled anymore. And then we can both start living again. Do it, Diana, for both of us. <laughs> 